the ltrim function is used to remove latent spaces from a string and the l there means or it refers to the left and so you can think of that as spaces that that are that are called before a string character let's switch over to sql server and see how this works right so i will make my comments we'll call these the l trim function and in order to explain the way this function works i'll use an analogy so let's assume you you're trying to log into your email and you need to type in your password into your email and for now we're just going to assume the password to your email is password so your password is literally password that's your password and when we talk about lead and spaces we're talking about just having spaces before your password so now i just entered three spaces before the password and we've sort of seen this before but let's let's actually print this out so i'm just going to delete this again and i would say select so that we can print that out and then we open and then while well, we're going to write the password but then we're going to have three leading spaces before before the password right all right close the code and let's just print this now when we print this query you actually can't there's no you can tell that there is a space before the password now one way we to tell is because we entered it we know we purposely entered some spaces before the password but we can also we've used the len the length function the len function it lets pass the len function to count so select and then we're just going to use len and all we need to do now is we want to select we want to count this all right so we'll paste that so i just copied that and when we run this it gives us a total of 11 because you know now we counted the spaces before the password or so we counted the three spaces before the password but think about it this way and this is where the l trim function comes to play so right now we can we can delete the the spaces before the password by using the l trim function so if we have let's go select and we have l trim and we're just going to copy this again because we just want to cut off the latent spaces okay and when we run this select L trim we just see password but there's still no way we can tell if there is a space before the password or not so just like we use the len function we can use the len function here as well to check so we can land so we can check the l trim of the password and we had like one two three and then we have password okay and then we'll close that all right so what we're trying to do now is we want to count we want to count the total number of characters that we have here so just to back you know take a step back we enter the password with spaces with three leading spaces and then we pass the length function to count the total number of the characters because we want to see if we do have a, a leading space because when we do this it shows us password but we don't we don't know if there's a leading space or not when we run this it tells us we have 11 character value but we know that password is only eight character value so that means there's three leading characters or you know which, which is it's pretty much a, a blank space but again those are counted as a value and now when we do the l trim which is supposed to then delete the leading space we run that we also still see password but we don't know if this has worked yet when we do the land now we're trying to check the land of this query when we run this 
now we see that it is 8 because now the L trim function did trim the lead and space. But to think about the practical use of this, one way is let's say, you know, for instance, you're trying to log into your email. And it is very possible that while you're trying to type in your password, by mistake, you might press the space key um, key key on your on your ta on your on your computer, which then leads to a, a lead in space. And because that's a value, then normally if you were to just enter that, that should lead to a wrong password. You shouldn't be able to enter. And we can actually test this out. Um, let's go. I'm gonna just go into an email and let's say I try to sign in into this email that I've created and I'm going to purposely and this is something you can try at home as well so you can try and log into your own email but then enter like just three spaces not your password just three spaces and you would see that there's an indication that shows dot 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 because it recognized that as a value and then enter your or your password after the three dots and then click on next or sign in and what you'd notice is that you're able to sign into your email even though technically you've entered the wrong password by entering three empty values before your original password now what's happening at the back end is that, and this may not be applicable to all email service provider or um, anywhere you're trying to log into, but for instance with Gmail, on the back end there is a function like an L trim, and again, like you know when we th think about coding, there are multiple different, there are different coding languages, and all of these coding languages do off, not all, but you know you're able to achieve the same thing with you know some of you know the different coding coding languages so the backend may not necessarily be the SQL and it may not necessarily be like be an L trim function and there's still other um, trim function that we'll, we'll talk about but at the back end there is a, a code that a preset code or, or query that has been implemented at such that if there is a lead in space before you enter your password that gets trimmed out so that you're able to log into your part log into your account based on the desired password that you or which you intended or which you intend typing in to you know to access that service. So that's the way the that's the way L trim works. L trim works exactly the same way as L trim, except that with L trim it is used to remove trailing spaces from a string. So I'm just going to make a comment here and we'll call this L trim. So our trim function, and we'll use the same example we used when we talked about our trim. So on the same way, we have our password, and we'll start with select, and let's select our password. But instead of having a lead in space, now we want a trail in space. So we'll try type our password, and now we can create three trailing spaces in our password all right and when we run this we still can't really tell that there is a trailing space within the password we could use the len function but if you remember when we talked about the len function earlier on the len function only counts Leading spaces, it doesn't count trailing spaces, and we'll try that out again. So we'll type our password. So we want to see the length of this value, and then we add we include three spaces. When we pass this, it's going to tell us that we have eight characters because it only counted the password, the, the number of characters of the password, and ignored the trailing spaces. However, it doesn't mean that there is no space at the end of, or, you know, following the letter D. So we're still using, we still should use the, we can still use the out trim function to remove the trailing spaces. So by passing our trim, and we open our brackets, and then we pass in the, you know, I'm just going to type it out. So we have password. And then we have three spaces, one, two, three. 
close our quote and then close our bracket. And then we have to have our select keyword. When we run this, then the trailing spaces would have been removed. Uh, again, there's no, you won't be able to see it by us just using the length function, but the outtrim, like I said, works exactly the same same way outtrim works, except that it removes all of the trailing spaces. Finally, we have the trim function, and the trim function is used to remove both leading and trailing spaces from a string. So let's make another comment, and we'll call this trim function. And in this case, we would have both leading and trailing spaces. So we'll, let's go select, and now we'd have password again. But this time we want to have three leading spaces, one, two, three, and then we write our password. And we want another, we want another set of trailing spaces, one, two, three. And then we can close this. And as usual, when we run this, we just see password. And if we pass the length function, as we did earlier on with Ltrim, it will show us that we have 11 characters because it will count the first three leading spaces, but will ignore the last three trailing spaces. The trim function is one that probably will, probably will be used from a backend perspective because then it takes care of both the leading and the trailing, trailing spaces. So to implement that, we just pass our select keyword and then we have trim and now we can pass a password one two three type our password one two three we close our quote and then we close the bracket and when we run this and we can now pass the len function to count the total number of characters so we select we want to len off our trim function. We have quotes one two three password one two three quote close that and then so we close this closes the trim function and then the second closes the len function. And when we run this, it's going to tell us we have eight characters uh, because the len function only counts the the leading spaces, but like I said earlier on, there is still space and we should still take care of that on the back end. So the trim function will be one that would be uh, perhaps the most appropriate to use because it ensures that both the leading and trailing spaces will be removed.